Will too many sticks of DDR5 slow you down? Well, let's find out. Currently running with two sticks of DDR5 by Kingston Fury, their Beast Ram 6000 Mega Transfers. And it's been completely stable, no issues with this 13900KS processor by Intel. But why don't we fill it up with four sticks altogether? It is a good idea to uh, flip the switch on the power supply unit. Let's commence filling. And here we go. Four sticks, 128 gigabytes. That should be enough for Minesweeper. Pop the switch. Don't be like Maddie K. Turn it on. Notice the code up top. Randomly, it's going to be changing numbers because it has to train the new amount of RAM. CPU or memory changed. Hit F1. We've loaded 128 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, and currently we're at 5,600 mega transfers. Now let's do some stability testing and then see if we can bump it up to 6,000. Intel's extreme tuning utility is one way to basically make sure that the RAM is stable, and you can also run things like mem test as well. A one minute test is good just to see if there's any initial issues, and then I definitely recommend at least an hour. Memory test has passed. So it looks like with this 13900KS processor, I can only load the second profile for XMP. The first one will not boot, so I can't hit 6,000 mega transfers, but I can't hit 5,600 mega transfers. So it's always about the quality of the CPU. As an example, this 13900K processor, not a KS, actually will run four sticks of Kingston Fury Beast the DDR5 at 6,000 mega transfers with no issue whatsoever. So it all depends on the lottery of whatever CPU you actually get. Five i9 processors will all run RAM differently.